Okay, what's up, guys? Uh, it's me, uh, Living Glob again. Today I'm gonna be like taking a look at. Like, these aren't all my cards. Well, they are my cards, but they aren't all of them. I have a lot more. But like, let's get into the video. Okay, so we got this. This cool foil card, natural beetle. So a natural beetle. Beetle. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see attack of it. Yeah, this this can be extremely exploited because like oh i activate a spell card boom this gets these two stats get changed so you're going to be like oh i'm going to change it again because it's in the attack mode so like yeah but it's it's a, yeah, it's a good card, but like can be easily destroyed. Cause like all I have to do is activate a spell, switch the stats, have that attack or that defense, and kill it. So yeah, natural beetle, mm, cool card, and concept. And we got Genix Spare. Uh, once per turn, if you control another Genix monster, you can make the card named Genix Controller until the end phase. Honestly, I have no idea what. Like, I don't have any other Gen X monsters, so this is useless. All right, okay, so we got Fencing Fire Ferret. Oops, cool looking card. I got it in like cool gold text. Uh, this card is destroyed and said to the graveyard target one face up monster your opponent controls, destroy that target. And if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Then we. And here's our first Shattered Glass card. I don't know what the official foil is. But like, you can see little shards of glass. It's much more viewable in real life. But yeah, this is a... F oh yeah, by the way, I think all of these are first editions. I don't know. We oh, yeah, have Mark of the Rose. Uh, it's a spell card, so like I'm not going to go into that. Because like, look at that amount of text. I'm too lazy to read it. Next, we got Madura. Um, uh, if this card gains 200 attack, well, this card gains 200 attack for each fairy type monster in your graveyard. Pfft. That is like, this has so much potential. Because, like, you could be playing an Exodia deck, but, but like, a, a deck surrounding this card, right? It would kind of be like an Exodia deck. Getting all the cards out of the way and trying to get the Exodia pieces. Well, yeah, this could be like, there could be a deck like that. With this as the main focus. And like just stacking tons of attack. Yeah. Next card. Uh, Master Craftsman. Yeah, well, I'm not going to need that. I'm, not, I'm, start, I'm starting not to read the effects. It looks pretty cool as a pyro card, so like, yeah. We got Evil Swarm O Lantern. Another pyro card, but it ain't fire type, so like, what? Uh, read, pause the video and read the effects if you want. Uh, Blue Thunder T45 machine effect. Uh, actually, that looks cool. And it's a light type, so yeah. Uh, bound one. Oh, here's my uh, another glass one. They're like super cool. I don't remember the name of that foil. I think it was like something like shattered glass. Uh, XX saber and em emerald blade again. Another foil. But it's not first edition. Uh, here's a good and the evil burning abyss a foil. First edition. Uh, shiny text. Uh, Rhino Taurus. Oh, it's basically, I think it's a Minotaur. But, like, I don't know. No Taurus. I don't know. Rhino. Rhino. Uh, then we got a Spiritual Beast. Rhyme, sorry, Rampu 
skin. It looks cool. Now we got double chop pull. Okay. What? Just this picture is like super weird. Well, anyways, I'm trying to do two things out for comments. Next, we got Infernal Atono Dell. It looks real cool. Um, that cards. Uh, Echo Oshelet. Go go tells ta go 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 talisman. Uh, if you want to see another video like this, then like yeah, like the video I guess. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Star View Valley will be uploaded today. Another one. A preferable stamp turtle. I th yeah, these are from, like, if it's, I think if it's not first edition, I got it from the UBR V packs. Yeah, and the cross circle. Sorry, cycle. Oh, and the cross. Wasn't that, like, a, isn't that, like, a big, like, it's there, like, Exodia and the cross? Uh, a synchro monster. Actually, this isn't my first synchro monster. Cool fact. I have a lot of synchro monsters. Well, not a lot, but like n nice about synchro monsters. Uh, Zemede. Which looks like a card for machines. I don't know. Ujo uh, Maggot. Last minute cancel. That's a card from the Arc V. Uh, that one dude, the main characters. Main card, I think. No, no one. The main card. It's like the first monster in the show. Because, like, it was in the intro. Shock Troops of Ice Barrier. Foil. Worm Ugly. Again, Foil. Fabled Dive. Foil again! But this is a pretty cool foil because it like. It shows off the fire more. Uh, Genix Recycled. Oh, looks like you do have more Genix monsters. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, it's a tuner. So, I mean, I kind of need tuners for my synchro monsters. We got cursed armaments. Actually, that, that looks creepy right there, that face. Then we got a shattered glass tardy orc. A first edition. Call of Atlanteans. Cool, which is actually pretty cool. Explorer Dragon. I wish I had like that. <laughs> There's this one card. It was like super cool because, like, it was Dragon Master and me. But like in the same episode, it was a different dragon. It was like this weird fusion dragon. I don't remember what it was called. And we got Arcus to help out the Worm Warrior. And we got Rare Metamorph. Metal Morph. Which actually looks pretty cool. That Super Rush? Reckless? Yeah. Uh, Righteous Reaver. Uh, another, car another Master Craftsman guy. But this time, it's Shattered Glass. The blast with chain. 
a hyper hammerhead with shattered glass, a Coco Miro dragon, Drago, not dragon, a scared crane, butterfly yolk, shattered glass, shiny text, meta bow shark, miracle wave. Electromagnet bagworm. I kind of wish I got like a cosmic heart. one shot wand. Windstorm of it. Uh, it took uh, a mist valley falcon shattered glass. Telekinetic shocker, shiny text, sheer, sheer, shredder, and we got Jack Jack. But it's like a foil Jack Jack. Yeah, that's it. It's my entire, that's like my entire, uh, that's like my, this is like my other Yu Gi Oh card, this is my Yu Gi Oh card collection. And next, if I do another video, I'll be focusing on my main deck. Oh, oh wait, that's right. Hold on, let me go grab it. Holy cow, yep, it's a quantum cab from the Yu Gi Oh! trading card game. Shouldn't jump you go trade card game battle pack for your monster league. <laughs> it's quantum cat, which can be like it's super good. All right, so like that's it. See you later. Mia.